Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Father. I welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. We are celebrating the Mass of the Memorial Feast of St. Maximilian Kobe, priest and martyr of the Church. St. Maximilian Kobe is a man who began the clamor about the crisis of the church and the need for a, an exalted or intensified evangelization of the world in a time when the church seems to be in an intense crisis. He said every form of social media should be implored in the evangelization process of the world. And the thoughts became the first man that initiated reaching out to people with the word of God through media platforms. And his own, he began with newspapers, writing newspapers, journals, and the instituted opened uh, communities. Knight of Mary Immaculate was the first of all the communities he formed where the Word of God is written in magazines and newspapers and then spread all over the world. My dear friends in Christ, his life was culminated in his sacrifice for a man who was to die for in a refugee camp. Some people were put in the prison so a prisoner escaped, and the ten people were pick, picked up to go down because of the prisoner that escaped. And one of them was crying, Oh, my family, what am I going to do? My children, my wife, Amazvidan Kobe, a priest, said, Okay, sir, stop crying. I will die for you. And he applied to replace that particular man since he has no wife and children. 
let him die in place of him, and then the man will be set free. And that was how he died. He died to uh, retain the life of a man so that he can also take care of his family. That man he died for was present at his canonization. There are so many other things about Masbidian Kobe, but today we are celebrating him as a hero of faith and as a matter of church. We ask God through his intercession to give us the grace to remain steadfast in online evangelization and also to be men and women of sacrifice, especially to the point of dying for our fellow human beings. Let us ask him to always intercede for us so that in every challenge or difficulty we may face in our own evangelization process, and bringing the gospel of Christ to people, to the whole world, that we will never be conquered by the enemy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We welcome in a very special way in this Mass, Reverend Father Chimo B, uh, Christian LMO CM. Um, is my one of my Visation brothers, and then he came around this evening and then decided to join us in this Midnight Mass. Father, you are welcome. In this Mass also, we are praying in a very special way with Angela Ogechuku Oswala, who, has, who is praying for God's intervention for speedy end to their court case and for favorable judgment and success in all business endeavors. Mwamaka Rita Ibehika is praying for divine favors in his husband's business. The family of Madu Peter and Martina is thanking God for favors received and asking for God's blessings and protect, protection and more anointing upon Reverend Father Benedict Okolo and also for successful wedding ceremony of, her, of their sister Chinelu. Father Chukudiomi is praying for God's blessings upon Chinwe Ezeji and for God to grant her all her, her desires and increase her financially and otherwise. Mr. Ifani Obiako is praying for God's blessings and favors and for other private intentions. Dear friends in Christ, for your intentions which you are typing into the comment box at this point in time, we are celebrating this Mass as well. Your intentions are all in this Mass. Those whose Mass's intentions are in our counseling book and those who have requested Mass for the month of August whose names are on our altar here. We pray that God Almighty we grant you all your high desires. Whatever is your intention for joining this Mass at this time, I pray that God will never fail you. Our God is a faithful God. He will never disappoint you. And I pray that through the intercession of St. Maximili and Kobe, that God will meet you at your point of need on this special day as we continue in this Mass. This is Friday morning. And we pray that as we enter into the weekend, that God may make this weekend a very nice one for you and your family, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. To prepare ourselves worthily, therefore, for this holy celebration, let us now call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and the mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who filled the priest and the matter set Maximilian Kobe with a burning love 
for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and with zeal for souls and love of neighbor. Graciously grant through his intercession that striving for your glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even until death to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of prophet Ezekiel. 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 The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, make known to Jerusalem her abominations, and say, Thus says the, the Lord, the God, to Jerusalem, Your origin and your birth are of the land of the Canaanites. Your father was an Amorite, and your mother a Hittite. And as for your birth, on the day you were born, your navel string was not cut, nor were you washed with water to cleanse you, nor rubbed with salt, nor swathed with bands, no eyed, no eye pitied you to do any of these things to you out of compassion for you. But you were cast out on the open field, for you were abhorred on the day that you were born. And when I passed by, by you, and saw you wearing, wettering in your blood, I said to you in your blood, Live and go up like a plant of the field. And you grew up and became tall and arrived at full maidenhood. Your breasts were formed and your hair had grown. Yet you were naked and bare. When I passed by you again and looked upon you, behold, you were at the age for love. And I spread my skirt upon you and covered your nakedness. Yes, I pledged myself to you and entered into a, co a covenant with you, says the Lord God. And you became mine. Then I, I bathed you with water and washed off your blood from you and anointed you with oil. I clothed you also with embroidered cloth and shod, and shod you with leather. I swatted you in fine linen and covered you with silk. I decked you with ornament and put bracket on your arms and a chain on your neck, and I put a ring on your nose and earrings in your ears and a beautiful crown upon your head thus you were decked with gold and silver and your raiment was of fine linen and silk and embroidered cloth you ate fine you ate fine flour and money and honey and oil you grew exceedingly beautiful and came to regular estate, and you renown, and you renown, went forth among the nations, because of your beauty. For it was perfect through the splendor which I had bestowed upon you, says the Lord God. But you trusted in your beauty and played the harlot because of your renown, and lavish your hollow trees on any passerby. Yet I will remember my covenant with you. In the days of your youth, 
and I will establish with you an everlasting covenant that you may remember and be confounded and never open your mouth again. Because your shame, because of your shame, when I forgive you all that you have done, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your anger turned away and you comforted me. 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 You, God is my salvation. I will trust and I will not be afraid for the Lord God is my strength and my song. And it has become my salvation with joy. He will draw water from the wells of Jerusalem. Your anger turned away and you comforted me. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Your anger turned away and you comforted me. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitant of Zion, for great is your midst, is the Holy One of Israel. Your anger turned away, and you comforted me. Your anger turned away, and you comforted me. Your anger turned away, and you comforted me. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God, not as the word of man, but as what it really is, the word of God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Pharisees came up to Jesus and tested him by asking, Is it lawful to divorce one's wife for any cause? He answered, Have you not read that he who made them from the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this reason, a man shall leave his wife and mother and be joined to his wife. And the two shall become one. So they are no longer two but one. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. He said to him, Why then did Moses command one to give a certificate of divorce and to put her away? He said to them, For hardness of heart, Moses allowed you to divorce your wives. But from the beginning it was not so. And I said to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for unchastity, and marries another, commits adultery. He who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The devil said to him, if such is the case, if such is the case of a man with his wife, it is not expedient to marry. For he said to them, not all men can receive this precepts, but unto those whom it is given, for they are eunuchs who have given so from birth, and they are eunuchs who have been made eunuchs by men, and they are eunuchs who have made themselves eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. He who is able to receive this, let him receive it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord. Good morning, morning, Father. Today, in the Gospel, Jesus retreats the two properties of marriage, unity and indesirability. Marriage is a union between a man and 
a woman between one man and one woman. It's not a union between a man and a man. Neither is it a union between a woman and a woman. Rather, it's a union between one man, one woman. And this union is indesirable. By that, nothing, only death, can break this union. Today, marriage as an institution or marriage as a vocation is facing a lot of crisis. And today, Jesus retreats the importance of marriage. The two properties of marriage. Without these two properties, there's nothing like marriage. Unity and indissolubility. That is why I tell people we can achieve this on our own. For example, for us to enjoy a perfect marriage, God must be involved. God must be the center and the foundation. For example, if two persons are wedding, say for example, a marriage between a King Sele and a, and Fervor. King Sele was Fervor cannot give us harmony. Love, peace. But Kensele plus favor plus God will give us what? This love, this harmony, this unity. That is why without God, we cannot do this. And many marriages today are in shambles because they excluded God from their lives. We ask God in this month to heal marriages that are suffering, passing through one difficulty or the other. We ask God to bring, to, to, to restore, to renew the love, the, 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 the love of marriage or the love that is the foundation of every marriage. In any marriage that is lacking this love. We are praying for revival, for healing upon family life. We are praying that God will protect this institution, this vocation, because marriage is itself what? A vocation, a call. We are asking him to protect this vocation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. When we talk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory He sheds on our way. While we do His good will, He abides with us still. And with all who will trust and obey, trust, trust, trust and obey, obey. for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Not a shadow can rise. Not a cloud in the skies, but it's my quickly drives it away. Not a doubt for a fear, not a sign of a tear, can abide my we trust and obey. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. We present our oblations to you, O Lord, humbly praying that we may learn from the example of St. Maximilian Kobe to offer our very lives for you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Maximilian Kolbe poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in, your, in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them that they do fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring that to the fullness of charity to our first disciple, after our martyrs, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, several sons and sisters who have found us in the resurrection, 
Oh God, in your mercy, welcome into the life of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. That the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we send Joseph our most chest pass. The Blessed Apostles, we send Vincent the Paul, send Pure Pietra Gina, and all the saints who are pleased with throughout the ages. We may meant to be covered with our life, and we pray and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, are with him, and in him, O oh God, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Those who are online, type in peace be with you in the comment box. Wish your colleagues peace and we wish you same from here. In Jesus' name. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus Christ who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I love what I have on my roof. But though he said the word, and my soul shall be him. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. 
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, World without end. Amen. United with our brothers and sisters following this Mass online, let us say the Art of Spiritual Communion. Art of Spiritual Communion. Art of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally now. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally now. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Dear friends online, at this point in time, type into the comment box, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Or come at least spiritually into my heart. And in a brief moment of silence, give the Lord the opportunity to locate you wherever you are. since you cannot receive him sacramentally in this Mass. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, Come in today, come in to stay, come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. I embrace you as if you are already there. I embrace you as if you are already there. And unite myself to you. And unite myself to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O oh Lord that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that St. Maximilian Kobe received from this holy banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Honor to Mary. Our brothers and sisters online at this point in time, I encourage you to share this Mass on your various walls, Facebook wall and other social platform. Maximilian Kobe encouraged us to do this. I encourage you to be an evangelizer by sharing. Share the Word of God, share the Holy Eucharist, and bring it across to somebody who know about it not, and God will reward you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank in a very special way Father Christian Chimobi LMO CM for the wonderful word he spoke to us this night 
on the fact that marriage is very important to God as a union of one man and one woman which is indissoluble. Nothing can separate it apart from death. We pray that God will give marriages and homes the grace to be able to realize this and live their life on the principle of there is no dissolution of this unity. So that you don't live your life as if that is not what God made it. So we pray that God will fill all those who are married under the sound of our voice with that grace to recognize the seriousness of the covenant they have made and to know that when they live according to that covenant, that God will surely provide for the family and bless them with the favor that they so desire. Remember Psalm 128 verse 1 to 3 says that blessed is the man who fears the Lord, that is whom the wife is like a fruitful vine and the children are like the shoots of olive around the table. So I pray that such will be the, the, the situation in your family as you listen to this word of God. Him as our mysterious God in this YouTube channel, Chukudu in Adoration TV, that He will do mysterious things in our lives and locate us with miracles that mouth cannot speak. What I call unspeakable testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. Those who want to key into our August outreach to the poor, you are encouraged to do that. Just send us a message that you are interested on Facebook. In the Messenger, in Facebook Messenger, or WhatsApp, and we shall tell you how to go about it. May God bless you as you continue to believe in the power of midnight prayer, especially midnight holy mass, which is the highest form of prayer one can say as a Christian and more especially as a Catholic, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, I thank all of you for your active participation. Have a very wonderful weekend. This Friday will be for you a Friday of uncommon favor and the miracles. May God fill you with the grace to do His will today, and wherever you go, you shall meet favor. And where, whatever you do today, God shall anoint it with success and progress. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for all of you outside the country, Nigeria, who are following this match, those in UK, Angola, India. Mention wherever you are. Type it in the comment box. I say mention the country where you are now. And I pray that on that land where you are living, that Jesus Christ, God of Father, good day, we will locate you. Amen. In this special Friday with uncommon favor. Amen. I prophesy uncommon miraculous visitation upon whatever you are doing. Those of you facing challenges with your documents, even those of you facing challenges with obtaining visa or success in their business and work here, within and outside the country, I pray for you and I prophesy, let my God visit you today and let your case turn around for, to favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And may God bless you. In the name of the Father, out of the Son, out of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go forth in the place of Christ. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, our hearts are on fire. To Ave Maria, a noble queen, not I to so wondrous feel all our desire. Ave Maria, a noble queen. Prayer after Mass. Bless, O oh Lord, our hearts and mind. And grant that as we leave your house, we may continue to be aware of your presence through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much.